Hello and welcome to the first video on Mad Smart Cars. This is something I've wanted to do for a very long time but have never really got round to it. Before we get onto the subject of this video, which is my new 135i, I just want to put this into context. Over the last few years, I've been filming a lot of cars and a lot of videos for the likes of Rybrook on Rybrook TV and more recently a few videos for Love Cars. I've always wanted to do my own videos, my own Matt Smart cars. I've got an Instagram, but I haven't got done anything else. And the act, these cars are just amazing. So what I want this channel to be is a much more relaxed look. It's gonna be some behind the scenes on how we do the big productions. It's gonna be my takes of some amazing cars. And also, I've got this. So I've just gone into this M135i for a couple of months. And I wanna bring you along for the journey. I actually had one last year. For a couple of months but the country was in lockdown so we couldn't really get out and enjoy it but yeah this is going to be it's going to be interesting i don't know how this channel is going to go but let's see shall we let's start with my brand new bmw m135i so then here we go just picked this up on monday the 21 plate so it is a 2021 bmw m135i now as i've already mentioned i had one last year and it was in Mazzano blue which i loved but I still think that this in black sapphire looks incredible. I wasn't too sure about the colour when I was first told that it's going to be this colour. Um, so what do we have? We've got a 2 litre 4 cylinder petrol engine under the bonnet with 306 horsepower. We've got 4 wheel drive and let me tell you, the performance on this car is exceptionally strong and if you wanted to see my full in-depth video with one of these check out Rybrook TV I've put the link in the description of this video but no today's more about introducing this car so as I've already mentioned black sapphire and we've got the M135i Pro Pack which gives us the larger 19 inch alloy wheels which I think are an absolute must but one of the things that I've been asked quite a lot about these I actually had a question on Instagram the other day is if you were specking one of these, would you go for the 19s on passive suspension or would you go for the 18s on adaptive suspension? Now that for me is a very, very hard one to answer because for me, I would go for the 19s because they just look an awful lot better in my opinion. However, last year I did film a little comparison video with Carmad Dad over on Ryrock TV. He was driving a 135 with the 18s and adaptive suspension. He said it made a massive, massive difference. Now, for me, I would say it does make a difference. However, if you're like me and you really care about the way your car looks, I go for the 19s. I don't think it makes too much of a difference. I've been driving this for six days now and it hasn't really made much of a difference. I think the ride is, is fine, to be honest. Now, in terms of the looks, what are we thinking? Now this has grown on me massively. I think it looks absolutely epic. And now I know that this hasn't got the best of press when it comes to the looks, especially the front end. But I don't know. I think I've been, I've been quite a big advocate for this car ever since it first came out. I don't think it deserves the flack that it gets. I do like the grills on the front with this honeycomb effect and the, the cerium gray. It looks really cool. We've got Syrian Grey down here as well, which signifies the M performance. I've got LED lights front and rear as standard, and they do look, I mean, look at the sculpture in these lights. They just, come on, they look mega, look at that. Whoa, it looks lovely. We've got Syrian Grey wing mirrors as well, again, to signify the M performance. Folding mirrors are standard on these. But yeah, let's just go into a little bit more detail of what the 135i Pro Pack gets me. So we've got the 19-inch alloy wheels, which, as I said, look awesome. You also get the window tints on the back and also inside the Harman and Kardon sound system, which for me is an absolute must. Look at this back end. It's got to be the best thing about it, hasn't it? I mean, look, you've got this really large sort of double spoiler on the rear, which just yeah it looks mega when you get up close with this there is a lot of details that you don't necessarily notice on photos especially on the back especially the back and i love the led lights across here where they flick up at the end we've got dual pipes which are well the sound okay that's the one thing i would say about this car the sound is probably the thing 
it's a little bit disappointing but it is what it is and another thing while we're here well there's a couple of things on the back that i need to point out to you guys so again we've got cerium gray for the designation the exhaust pipes are in cerium gray as well however let's brighten this up a little bit these little vent things here they're blocked in yeah a little bit annoying on that front but it is what it is and then another thing which i've noticed on these and on a lot of bmws at the minute you come down here look at that back box the cowarder as it's being called on the m2 competition really pronounced but on this it's not so bad but still look at that mm, does ruin the back look a bit but you know i think the back end is definitely the angle for this car now the 135 has it with the, all the one series at the minute is only available as a four door and there is an awful lot of space in here i have to brighten this up for you guys yeah got a lot of space in the back uh, one of the plus points of the one series going to this five door configuration is that you get a lot more space in the back now that's because the engine at the front is now mounted across instead of lengthways so you get more space the bonnet can be shorter which means you get more space inside the car for people and things boot space let's have a look at the boot space quickly while we're here let's open this up you can get the one series for the first time ever now with an electronically folding tailgate part of the comfort pack i believe i haven't got it on this car so in the back of here got all my camera gear which is a bit of a mess but anybody that's shot cars before know this mess um, but no a lot of space in there there's also another compartment underneath the bottom here um, the lip isn't too protruding so you can get stuff in nice and easily shut that back down um, but no it's uh it's not a bad thing to say the x drive system on this car is slightly different than it is on any other bmw x drive because it's front wheel drive biased rather than rear wheel drive biased which yeah, is a bit of a, a funky one for bmw but i have to say after driving these cars an awful lot it does make for some interesting cornering my game that i like to play with these cars obviously where it's safe is to throw it at a corner as fast as possible and try and unstick the thing and i have to say so far not once have i made it unstick the way that it drives is just incredible and i mean yeah look at it it's been freshly validated actually uh on friday it looks really really cool let's go and show you inside go passenger side first let's open this up i do love the interior of these new one series they think they look absolutely mega and the big thing that i love look at these seats oh they are lovely so i've got the black dakota leather seats in here i love this little cutaway thing here a little bit of a funky thing there but they are so incredibly comfortable in here really really cool uh, I've got the Boston trim in here, which is a little bit of a strange one to have in a 135. Let's just jump into the passenger seat. Yeah, so I've got Boston trim, which is the sort of darker of the two trims that you can get on this. But I have to say, I actually quite like it. I wasn't really sure at first, but it's really cool. All your air conditioning and stuff in the centre here. Let's just press the start button so we can get a bit of life into it. Your dual zone cl climate control in this. Now, I have to say, it's a little bit a uh, bit harder to use actually than on the previous system on the old one you used to have dials either side which made it really easy to fling up the temperature but this one now look you have to keep pressing this button and then you accidentally kept it off loads of times but yeah keep doing that we've got heated seats either side as you'd expect uh, the 135 only comes with automatic gearbox now, i have to say this car's only done so far 267 miles and it is a little bit um, not sluggish sluggish is a, a, a brutal word to use but it needs breaking in it definitely needs breaking in but after it is broken i can tell you from experience it's mega i love these big thick chunky steering wheels now these are getting quite a lot of flack recently but no i think they look really cool we've got cruise control a standard um, and an awful lot of infotainment now another thing that's really cool now that you didn't get before We've now got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which are both wireless. So with a lot of cars, you have to plug it in to a USB socket, but no, not with these. It's all wireless. I have to say the BMW system is easily one of the best systems out there. Um, it's either touchscreen 
or you can still use the dial down in the center which i have to say using the dial does make things an awful lot easier but no i think interior wise these things are awesome and you do get the digital display as standard on these which is so cool it is a little bit dark in there it's not quite the the clearest of dis digital displays but no i think it's I think it's still mega. You've got plenty of storage in here. So we've got center console here, which I use for my mask and my wallet and my phone and so on. Uh, cubby holes down in the doors here, really cool. Uh, but no, all in all, the interior of the 135, let's just step back out a bit, show you this, is incredibly well built. You've got a lot of space in here for all the things for yourselves and all that sort of stuff but no i think it's a mega mega car and i can't wait to bring you a lot more content over the coming weeks and months that i'm with this now let me just explain this car is a company car through rybrook so i will be in this car for i don't know potentially four five six months who knows but there's plenty plenty of time to bring you a lot of content on it but no loads and loads of space in here Really cool, let's shut the door back out and get back outside and yeah, just one more little walk around of the outside. But yeah, that is, we've just been joined by what it sounds like an all electric van. I've seen one of those before, uh, Nissan E0, something like that. Interesting. But anyway, nice and simple, that is my BMW M135i that I'm going to be running over the next couple of months. If you've got any questions about it, do please pop them in the comments and I'll get round to them and answer all of them. Um, but no, please like this video, subscribe to the channel for plenty more content to come. And the next video is going to be with, as the car comes past, is going to be with two of the most controversial cars to come out this year, the new M3 and the new M4. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you next time.